because here at Xavier University, it, it isn't enough to have a program that's successful on the court. I just knew like it was something about Xavier that was going to put me in the best situation for me to graduate. We're probably the, I would say, the single most unique college basketball program in the country when it comes to academic advising. When guys leave, if you talk to every one of them, one of the first people they'll mention would be Sister Fleming. Just coming to my visit, you know, you, you want to see all the, you know, the, the campus and, and the girls, but then you know, they take you over to this little office and, and you meet Sister Roseanne Fleming and you're like, wow, this is who I'm about to be attached to for the next four years. I came here to teach and um, one of the first individuals that I met was a basketball player. It was in one of my classes and the coach would call me about every other week to see how that basketball player was doing. Fortunately, probably for me as well as for him, he finished successfully at the end of uh, the first semester I was here. Our biggest record is that we've had 70 straight basketball players graduate. This is a legacy that goes back a long, long way. Since she stepped foot on this campus, there has never been one senior basketball player not graduate. The player has to understand that first and foremost, we are here for them. They aren't here for us that the university exists for them to grow and develop and to become an educated individual while they are on the Xavier campus. I worked for Sister Fleming, as did Pete Gillen, as did Skip Prosser, as did Thad Mata. I mean, if we run into a problem, uh, it's an easy solution. Whatever she says goes. At first, I was like, man, all these hours of study hall. But then when you get to the end, you understand that it's all worth it. She's going to put you in a great position to be able to graduate on time. And, and just to have a great academic experience while you're here at Xavier. Sisters, person, you know, it's always smiling. She brings a smile to you even if you're having a bad day. <laughs> always the same expression to send her smiling. Always smiling. I mean, that's, that's the number one thing. I mean, it could be like a fire and you just see her, you know, smiling. I think a real ingredient into the long-term success that we've had as a program is her in combination with the university. That is the one constant. It hasn't changed. In large part, that translates right onto the practice court. That, that translates right into the team approach. I'm happy for them. I have a lot of pride in thinking that they're succeeding for themselves. My pride basically is in the fact that, that they have used their talents to develop. Coaches win games, administrations uh, create successful programs, and it's terribly important for us to win the way we win. They're going to end up in, in, in an individual who's benefited by the enhancement of Jesuit education, and I think leave here feeling very successful that uh, they have the potential of making a difference in this world. <laughs>